and we need a spoon for mixing. So you're getting so much language in this context and I'm just going to go through and you'll hear how I would present it to your child. So I would use a lot of language of sequencing. So I would say the first thing we're going to do is pour the milk into the glass. So you've got them understanding the concept of first, or you're presenting them with that concept of first, with the verb pour, with the preposition into, and with the label milk. I might even start out with my really young children saying, oh look, what do we have to do first to pour the milk? And if they aren't answering or they don't know, uh, there are different levels of responses. They could either I could either show them you have to open. Some of our young children need to use uh, sign language. So you can say, oh yeah, we have to open, or just verbally, we have to open it. And you can model the language, Nancy is opening the milk. Mine is always very hard to open because my husband makes everything super tight. Anyway, um, so the next thing we say is then we are going to pour the milk into the cup. You can put in a where question. Where are we pouring the milk? Into the cup. In the cup. That's again uh, to help with comprehension by giving another clue, which is the sign. Okay, then you say, oh, Nancy is pouring the milk. Okay, the milk is halfway fill, filling up in the cup, in the glass, and now we're going to fill the whole cup with milk. So now the glass is full. Before it was empty, then we filled it up halfway, and then we went to the top, and the glass is full. So you're teaching an important concept, empty, full, half. Finally, we say, do you remember what this is called? This is chocolate syrup, and it's going to change the color of the milk. Let's see, watch what happens. So again, we can prompt for open, and here... We can even prompt for another verb called squeeze. We're going to squeeze the syrup. And, and the children can do this with you. You can let them squeeze. And you can get in the concept of more. Do you want some more? Should I stop now? Let's stop. Okay, we're all done putting in the syrup. And finally, we can label this. Do you remember what this is called? It's a spoon. And we're going to mix. We're going to mix. Oh, look at what's happening. You see the chocolate swirling around at the bottom. Oh my goodness, it looks delicious. Now I'm stirring fast, fast, fast. And stop. And the children love that. Um, and go and stop are other important concepts. So, finally, the last thing they're going to do is drink it up. I hope you enjoyed that little segment. As I said, you can do this with um, making pudding, making pizza, making cookies, making fruit salad, making a regular salad, and you can get all different nouns such as the labels for the foods. You can get verbs such as cutting and pouring and slicing and certainly eating. Okay, have a nice day.